as I hold this controller in my hand, I feel a connection with Neanderthal man as he crudely used tools to create fire. I use this tool to breathe life into a golem. A golem who exists only in a virtual world. This transference of life astounds me. I move further into this strange land. I head as all souls on this world do towards a light. I know nothing more than to keep moving forward in the hope that mysteries will reveal themselves to me. I see the bones of the dead. This place feels wild and lost. A creature. I move towards it. It is an alien land. Their small red eyes look at me. They are strangers here too. We share this together. I continue on. It feels as if all of human achievement has been leading towards this moment. This incredible transference of life from my aging flesh to the flesh of this virtual enigma. I manipulate his body using two sticks. Two rubber sticks attached electronically via a wire to a black box under an old TV set and yet somehow a universe opens up to me. I explore further. Before me stands a creature the likes of which I have never seen before. A frightening beast. An old friend of mine. An actor friend. Who was as much an enemy as an inspiration. Often we would find him shacked up in hotel rooms across Europe with creatures such as these. An incredible scene has just played out before me. My golem has been destroyed. The creature, swinging wildly at me, loses his balance and falls too. It seems that all of the failings of humanity are captured within this strange virtual landscape. I return to life again. I follow in the very same footsteps. My path seems almost inevitable. This time through, the bones of the dead 
seem almost like friends to me. For surely this is where we all will head. We will all become bones such as these. A great philosopher once said, Everything around you is nothing. But everything around you is everything. And it is never a waste of time to pour many souls into dexterity. And I have lived by those words. I see a glowing marker of where I had died before. Do I move towards it or do I run away? These are the two fundamental questions of human nature. To move towards the place of your death or to spend a lifetime attempting to flee from it. I press a button that matches the symbol on the screen. It allows me to touch a bloodstain. It is a thing I have done many times before in the real world. To touch a bloodstain connects you with the... Once again, the inevitable happens. I die. The creature falls. And I realize for the first time that this journey is a journey like no other and one I feel that I am doomed to repeat for many, many months, at least until the new Legend of Zelda game is released. <laughs>